Cuadro de la mano derecha. same quality of motion in your left hand that we did early. That's the goal. It's the same quality of motion. Ready again? Two, three, four. Uno. Smooth, even. Igual. Good. Let's go out and in. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Smooth, even flow. Sorry. Some of you are very. Some of you have practiced this before. I can see. Ah. So good. That is the exercise. The most basic exercise. Let's raise the. So there's a couple of different ones that I like to do. Num, one I like to call the square. So we're going to point with our left hand, and you're just going to create a square. So this. Uh, so one, two, three. Uh, no, sorry. One, two, three, four. So do that just left hand. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. A square. What's, what's cuadrado. Cuadrado. Un cuadrado con uh, la mano izquierda. See? So here, let's try it with our putting it together now. One, two. Start up here. Uh, upper left to the left. A la izquierda. Ready? And one, two, three, four. How do we do it? <laughs> Just do one. Just do one. One, two, Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One more time. Ready? Just pause in between each one. One, two, ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Ah, very good. Now, same idea, but a circle. So in our left hand here, we're just going to go one, two, three, four, back to one. And then a four count rest. In between, un sesura, rest, cuatro silencio, cuatro de silencio. In between each one. So, so one, two, three, four, one. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Make sense? Here we go. Start here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, one. Same quality of motion. One. Not bad. Good. Go the other way. Not bad. One more time. What's easier? Is it easier to go in or out? Yeah, because that's the way our body naturally works. So train what's more difficult. The other thing, uh, two more. One. Lightning bolt. What's lightning bolt? Uh, like, uh, <laughs> so uh, you're going to start here and you're just going to go one, two, three, four. It helps train accents and marcato style. And one, two, here we go. One, two, ready. And one, two, three, four. How do we do? Good? One more time. One, two, ready. One, two, do it the other way now. One. So if you're going in, go out now. And one, two, ready, go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. 
One more time. Otra vez. One. Very good. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay. The, uh, one more. This is must, must, Ot most difficult. Otra más complicado. You're going to start. Complicado. This is out of time. Ese está fuera de tiempo. So it's not measured. So eh, you're going to start a circle slowly. You'll spiral in and get faster as you get to the center. Y va yendo cada vez más rápido que vaya Let's al try that together. Ready? Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Mm. That's the idea. And then, same thing in reverse. Y luego ahora igual pero al revés. Pero Let's start that. One, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three. Here we go. And it's up to you. It's not measured, so however long it takes is how long it takes. Ready? And go. <laughs> Are you at the center? <laughs> Find the center and let's do it out. Ready? Begin. <laughs> See, if you can get that one down, you will have true left hand independence. <laughs> So let, the second thing that about the left hand is um, simple cueing. So uh, my my general uh, rules. ¿Qué es la palabra en español? Cueing. So if I cue with a clarinet, boom. Entrar, entrar, sí. Yeah, entrar. So. Um, my two rules. Number one, you have to be looking at the person you're cueing. <coughs> so, um, let's see, Amsterdam. What case the moment? David. David? Uh, clap when you feel you should. Ready? I like you did it well. <laughs> but how, uh, how strange was that, though? Was it, how, was it weird? Uh, was, was it strange not, not looking at you? It's better, right? Yeah. So, uh, so you have to be looking at the person you're queuing, and then and when you get so I won't tell you who I'm queuing or when, but uh, let's see if you get it right. This is one person. Very good. See? So you don't. Uh, so as long as those two things are in place, the preparation and the eye contact, then queuing. So all of that is el cuerpo entrenado. That's my, my whole manual technique. Uh, in, in, in the English we say in a nutshell, in, a, in, a, in summary. So the next part of it is So the next thing is the prepared mind. So there are four steps to the prepared mind that I that I. Number one, uh, and this is from a textbook that I use for like, two people um, in uh, the states. The uh, one is named Frank Battisti. Uh, so the name is called um, A Conductor's Guide to Score Study. So uh, one is Frank Battisti, who was at the New England Conservatory for many years, probably 30 years. Un persona muy famoso en el mundo de la. Uh, American band, uh, Bando Americano. 
Uh, and then the other one is a, and then the other author is a guy named Robert Garofalo, who was at the Catholic University in Washington D.C. for a long time. Yes, you know, author of the University of Washington. Robert Garofalo, is an Italian, a nombre Italiano, Garofalo. Sure, sure, sure. Disclosure, full truth. This is their score study method that I adopted. That I, so, but it's a very simple and very effective way of looking at a score. So, when you get a brand new score, who are my eight um, band conductors? So, one, the the, 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 the conductors who are conducting the band this week. So you should all have the Alba Overture, the Ferran, see? So this is a good example because um, it is one that I didn't know before. So I, um, before I had to do this workshop, I didn't know this piece at all. I didn't, I, I confess, I didn't know who uh, Ferran Fer was. But now I do, and I love him, and I'm going to bring him back to Estados Unidos. <laughs> but this is a good example because I didn't know anything about this piece. So I didn't know the conductor, I, I didn't know the, 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 I didn't know the, um, the composer. So, so I went through my four part score study. So number one, or just getting to know the score. So when I open the score, I read all of this. Um, I read about who Ferran is. I, it's not, uh, the, the first step is not uh, about reading the score. Many people sometimes they open the score. And they start doing this right away. <laughs> right? I've, I've done that, I confess, but it's not the best way to get to know it. So the best way is, uh, I think, to, to get to know it first. So orientation is just that, looking at the score and asking questions. So in this case, who is Ferran? What is um, Alba mean? What does... Yeah, what is, uh, it, what, you know, who, who is this for, who was it written for, when was it published, when, who, who wrote the premiere, like there's, there's no, yeah, there's no wrong question, it's just asking questions, asking questions, and the, uh, the, orient, the orientation part of the score study, part one, is important if you're looking at an old score. So if it's an old piece of music. So if it were Mozart, for example, who, who is conducting Mozart this week? So when you're looking at the serenade, um, it's important to know when did Mozart write it, what, who did he write it for? Those become important parts of the orientation process. Because it puts the whole entire piece in what I call historical context. And that's more important with Mozart, I think, than Ferran. But because I, one, of the, one of our jobs as a conductor is to understand the composer's intent. Now that's easy for Fer, Ferrer Ferran. I emailed him before this and asked him questions. <laughs> he's sitting, he's living here right in Spain and he was very nice to me and responded to my email. Uh, with Mozart, 
es más difícil. La atmósfera es más complicada. He doesn't answer emails anymore. Porque no, ya no envía mensajes más. So, um, step one, score orientation is just that, without reading anything. So, step two is score reading. Uh, and that is just that. I start at the beginning, and without an important part of this, is don't listen to a recording. Yet. You can listen to a recording later, but not at this step. Because, again, when, score, when I've, I've seen this happen, and I've also done it, I confess, but when you get a new score, what you want to do is go to your computer, hit play, open it, and then do this. See? Who's done that before? <laughs> See? Who did that for this, this workshop? <laughs> I do you don't have to answer. Um, so that is that it just doing that lets you know the score, but it doesn't let but it doesn't it's not the best way to prepare, I think. There's a preparation method that gets you a deeper understanding and a deeper connection. Because um, the whole thing about navigation versus artistry, navigación uh, versus arte, uh, this recording is navigation. Yeah? Porque esa grabación es eh, navegación y no es eh, arte. Yeah, this, arte. Doing this process is getting after the art. Getting after y haciendo este proceso, pues, lo último es la parte artística. So knowing Mozart, knowing when Mozart wrote the serenade. Knowing that he wrote it for um, the emperor, uh, the emperor, so that he could get more commissions from the emperor. That's a, knowing uh, harmony music, knowing the, the the ensembles of harmony music, that's all important part. That helps not only in your understanding of the music, but also when you teach it, when you coach it, that becomes an important part of the rehearsal process as well. Because never forget, a conductor does this on the podium, but we also stop and rehearse. Yeah. So you need to be informed as informed as you can about the score and everything else, everything about the score. Así que tenéis que estar informado de todo respecto a la partitura. So, score orientation, score reading, and that's just that. I start at the beginning Así and at a piano, de, 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 de uh, or at a piano or singing, I'll just look through and I'll just read through it. I'll, I'll listen uh, in English an, un, an, an oral image, uh, un pictura oral. That's what you're trying to get, is an oral image. Oral image, yeah. Does that make sense in English? Uh, oral image. Una. So that's what we're trying to get, is an oral image of what is this supposed to sound like. Now, if, now, if you go to a recording straight away, if you go to a recording right away, then your oral image becomes that recording. So especially in some, there's some band on YouTube, there's some band recordings that are not good. <laughs> no offense to those bands, but in America especially, you'll, you'll hear uh, 12 year olds, 13 year olds playing a piece and that's the only recording on YouTube. So you don't want that to become your oral image. So, um, so I look at, I sit down at a piano and I just play through the, the music, slowly, very slowly from beginning to end. And that, as if I was reading a book. Right? And so just without recording, without conducting, I just read through it and get to know the different parts. And that's all. Tell it not to do that. Does anyone know how to tell the computer not not to sleep? Alguien sabe cómo hacer para que no se apague el ordenador? 
<laughs> then number three, analysis. You, then you can finally start listening to recordings. You can start conducting some things. Analysis is um, one of the most important steps, and it's often what many, and it's often what most conductors skip to. They skip steps one and two, and they go straight to three. Because analysis is very important when you're dealing with a score. So what are all the things that go into analysis? It is a study, um, and in, in this textbook, um, one, of, one of the things that the authors want you to do is create a flow chart. So flow, uh, what would flow, flujo? Flujo, and a chart is just uh, like a, I mean, I can write it up. So a flow chart would be on a piece of paper, writing out, here's your measures, uh, your, and uh, you like measure one or 17, you know, so on and so forth. And then writing out the melody, rhythm, harmony, um, texture. Uh, dynamics. Anything you can think of musically, you're going to create a map. Una, ¿sí de carto, un carto? A map. So it's quite. Uh, this is this is what they mean by flow chart. Eso lo que se refiere con carta de. Yeah, carta de flujo. That makes sense. So the idea is that you analyze every aspect of it. Uh, another important part for conductors. Signatura de tiempo es lo mismo en español. It decides what pattern you use. Okay, the pattern. And in many of the pieces we're doing this this week, um, the time changes quite a lot. So you need, so you need to know the, the, the time signature and the changes in that. So the analysis is analyzing all of these different aspects of the music. And then the, the goal is to create a chart um, uh, that sort of maps all of those, those aspects. And then finally, interpretación. So you, it's a synthesis. It's putting all together all of the different steps. And only, only on step four do we start moving around listening to recordings. That's when you can start really practicing all of the different things. Now this four-step process isn't meant to be very, very long. It, for my uh, Ferran score, my, my orientation was very quick. I, I read the thing, I emailed him. Um, I got to know the, the context a little bit. And then my reading, also very simple. I just, especially with, with this piece, it's very, uh, in English we say Hollywood, it's like movie music. Um, and so a lot of his melodies are, are easily singable, it's very, it's very it's easy to listen to and easy to sing and play. On, you know. And then uh, the analysis, uh, we'll, get into, uh, we'll get into the analysis in the second part of the day here. Um, the, uh, from two to four, I think, this afternoon, um, I'm going to be talking about this specific repertoire. Los, los seis obras uh, para el, el taller de, de banda. Um, so there's six pieces there, and I'll talk about every single one. We also, the conductors that are, who are my conductors again? Los ocho. ¿Quiénes son los directores de banda? ¿Quién más es director de banda? Eight. Oh, perfecto. Uh, in the evenings, I'll have um, Por la tarde. sort of a solo session. I'll, I'll be able to work with you specifically. And we'll get to know the repertoire there as well, very, very closely. 
So this afternoon, you'll, 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 we'll get into the analysis of all of this. Today? 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 No, after, yeah, the break, We're, we'll have a ah, quick sí, break. Descanso, descanso. Afternoon. Afternoon, yeah. Oh. So. Okay. 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 So the uh, whole process isn't meant to take a long time, but it is an important part. So I had this score prepared in uh, a few hours, maybe, uh, in a couple of days.